Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to set up your streaming goals within the Stream Elements Overlay Editor. We're just going to set up a few goals, a follower goal, a subscriber goal and a cheer goal. So the first thing you do is you go to the big plus button in the bottom left corner. You click it, you go to labels, followers, then goals and here is your follower goal. As you can see, it's right there. It's already giving you a preset. And now we will see what the different options are. For example, I already have uh, 3,100 followers. So let's change this to, let's say um, 3,500. That's the new follow goal we want to reach before the summer. And right here, you can change the colors of the bar. So let's put the, the back to red because that's what we want to get and the part that we already have will set to green so now it's easy to track by adjusting the colors right here you can fit it to your overlays of course which is really nice if you don't like the design you can also get a few other presets like this. You can see the percent of the completion that will just add the percentage right here. You can use a condensed version, which removes the text above and underneath. And I think this is probably the best setup to use. Even I would even remove the percentage myself. This is a very clean look for a uh, goal bar, of course. You can also use a simple design and that will just show you numbers like this. So that was the follower goal. It was super easy. It's super fast to set up. It can be a great tool for your stream to get where you want to be in the future. So now we're going to set up a subscriber goal, which is basically the same. We're going to labels, subscribers, goals and subscriber goal. As you can see, it all, almost looks identical. Let's make uh, let's make it purple, twitch purple, and let's make it blue. We have 26 subscribers already, and we want to reach 100 by the end of the year. You can set the date here. Goal end date. This, this will be put in here, but you don't have to fill that in, of course. You, cannot, you can change it to whatever you want. Let's uh, put that on December of this year. So we have a whole year to reach 100 subscribers. And we're going to use the condensed version, of course, because that looks really clean. This will automatically update, of course. You can also, also set the percentage again. And then there is the bits goal. As you can see right here, my chair goal is already saying it's at 3100 or 1500. That's because people cheered in the past. But if you want to reset this goal, you go to the small tab here with the little computer icon. You click it, then you go to the goals tab and then you have two options. You can reset all the goals so that will that will mean that everything is set back to zero or you can just manually adjust one of the goals in this case the chair goal let's put that at zero because we want to start over again hit save and if we now go back this bar is at zero again and now it will fill back up until it's at 1500 again for all the goals there's a general rule that it only counts upwards. So for example, if you have uh, 50 uh, subscribers, but you lose two subscribers because they were gifted and it expired, then it will still say 50, but it's actually 48 now. So then you can just go to the tab right here, the goals tab, You you Put in 48 here and hit save. 
so it won't automatically decrease again uh, when they expire so that's basically it as you can see it's really not that hard it's super easy it looks clean you can place them wherever you want uh, i group them so but you can always do them individually as well for a nice clean setup you can also make them all the same colors of course if they fit uh, your theme for example if you have a purple theme you can all make them all purple no problem thank you for watching i hope this helped you out a bit and see you on the next tutorial